Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So today in this video, we are going to be making an icon and a thumbnail for your Please Donate game. Um, if you are new to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, guys, and I mean really, I mean, we're getting almost there, almost at 15,000, and I pray to God we get 20,000 by the end of March. I will be so happy. Um, and if you want, feel free to join that Discord in the description. We help out people there, and we will be doing a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, feel free to join that Discord. Now, um, for this video, you're going to be needing a few things. You're going to be needing Please Donate, um, just the kit and the game for, of course. Um, and then you're going to be easier using Photoshop. Either you can use a cracked version, like a free one or you can use um, the real Photoshop um, now people who don't have the Photoshop you can either go in the description and look for the video that just says how to get Photoshop and it'll just show you the way how to get the cracked version um, if you do have a way of getting the real version feel free to get that um, and then if you don't you can also use Pixlr it is your choice um, that's an online Photoshop kind of editing website I think I'm gonna show that in the video but um, yeah so it's pretty simple so um, I know you guys have been having a lot of questions about this game I am going to be addressing those later on in the next few videos. There's a lot of problems with um, claiming it and the buttons aren't popping up. Just want to let you guys know that is normal. It's just because of uh, Rope Roxy right now. Um, it's not our fault. It is just the website that is basically broken. Um, so I want you guys to hang in there. We are fixing that problem and we'll help you out later. It does work sometimes, just not all the time because of the website. So, um, so but honestly, going from here... You are going to head into your game. Either you can play or go into studio. And you are actually going to uh, go um, to your stand. Now, I didn't think about this for a second. Actually, you know, this will work perfectly. So, what you want to do is you're going to stand and you're going to be taking two photos. So, we're going to go shift P. And, um, oh, darn. Okay, shift P does not even help either. That is a good question. Shoot. Okay. Um, this edit thing, this proximity prompt. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna go B tools, guys. And you, sh let's see. Yeah, this isn't uh, the easiest. Oh wait, let's see. B tools. Oh, okay, B tools. I guess. Tools. Uh. Okay, that's weird. Uh. Am I lagging or something? What's going on? Um. <laughs> here, give me one second. Okay. Yeah, that is so weird. So, claim it again. Sorry, let's go B tools. Thank you. And you're actually gonna get it out. And in here, um, you're gonna hit shift, you're gonna hit shift T, grab this right here, hit X, um, and you're gonna delete this one right here. And delete. Or you can honestly just move it because this isn't deleting. Alright, let's just do that. Oh wait, there we go. Delete. Alright. So now that we have this set up, you're gonna hit shift P on your keyboard and mouse. Um actually you want to make sure you get position. So let's do that right there. And we will go like this. And we're going to take a few ones. So we want to take one close for the icon. So we're going to do this. And you can either use a snipping tool or you can use a screenshot. Um, I'm actually going to use my snipping tool in Windows because my dumb butt, uh, you know, actually, I'm just going to do this. I have, I don't know how to screenshot on my computer because I'm just too stupid. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do uh, com yeah, yeah. Uh, my, there we go. This is my uh, custom one made thing, so it's pretty nice. Um, I'll show you how in another tutorial how you can do this. It's really nice. Um, but, yeah, so see, I already did that. So now we're going to do one more. Um, let's position ourselves like like this, okay? And then you're going to want to go to the edge right around here. Let's see, right about there, okay. Um, I'm actually going to make sure I get this photo real quick. Sorry, I need to make sure I have that photo. Um, perfect. And then come on, shift pew and enter perfect and duh, 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 duh. perfect go one more i'll just put that in here all right so let's head over to photoshop and we're gonna get straight into this all right you guys so you may be a little confused kind of just like wondering like oh twin why does this look weird don't worry about it um so this is what we're gonna be doing and how we're gonna be looking at this so what you're going to be wanting to do is you're gonna go to file um you're gonna click open and sorry, you guys actually can't see this on my screen right now. That's weird. So file, open, and then uh, just find your photo. So I'm actually going to get mine real quick. It is in the... Uh... Oh, wait. No. What am I doing? Sorry, guys. File, new, and you guys can't see this. Of course. Great. So you're going to type in the width and height. Um, let me actually just see if I can just show you this real quick. Sorry. Let me... One second. Okay. That's better. So you're going to go to file, um, new, and then you're actually going to be doing two things. You're going to do first one's going to be 512 by 512. You're going to call this icon. Perfect. You're going to go new, and then you're going to go here, and you go to 1920 by 1080p. 
perfect. And then you're going to call this thumbnail. All right. So we're actually do the icon first because it's easy. And make sure that this thing's set to transparent. And our, just all of this is kind of concluding to what mine looks like. Um, so in icon, now you can do this. You're going to go to open. And then we're actually going to grab uh, the um, images. So mine are kind of weird because I have a custom thing for this. But don't worry about it. You guys will see what I mean. So let's see. Is this the thumbnail? Okay, that's the thumbnail. Um, no, we're going to go here. Which one I just grab? Oops, and I just double open that. Wait, no. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay, so you're actually good to um, duplicate this layer, or you can actually do place instead, your choice. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this icon, and I'm going to move this to a certain spot. So see how it's kind of like that? Yeah, that's what we want. So I'm actually just going to size this, and no, 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 like this. Perfect. That is literally just perfect size. So now that I have that, then you are going to find a arrow on the internet. Now I have my own, but I'll show you here quickly what you can do to find that. But um, let me just go to mine and show you. So, uh, do, 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 do. Sorry guys, let's find this real quick. Photo, do, 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 transparent. So I have my own, but I recommend looking online for certain things like these because you will find them and you'll be able to uh, put these into your, uh, into your, your thing okay um, I'm being stupid you know what I think I don't so we're gonna do this let me just show you go to desktop search up uh, transparent arrow and there's like Fortnite ones too um, you can do arrows or you can do I think it's the transparent Fortnite uh, arrow let's see okay see this easy transfer yeah this is what we're looking for um, Let's see here. Okay, perfect, right here. That is actually what we're looking for. So you're going to save this image, and you just save it to wherever you want to save it. Um, I'll go to uh, da, 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 transparent, and then we'll go to arrow. Perfect. I'll just close this. Then we'll go here. We'll hit place. Find that arrow again. So I'm going to go to my desktop. Sorry, I, just, I have a lot of folders, so it's kind of weird for me. Um, find that arrow. Perfect. And there we go. And then you're going to go right down here. Hold shift to make sure it's um, basically the exact size. And you can position this how you want. I really don't know. Like, you could do it right here. You could do it, like, anywhere, kind of. Or you can honestly just leave it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna look at mine as a reference because I kind of forgot how I did my old one. Um, I think this one's perfect. And what you might want to do is just move this over like this. And then have the arrow like that and be like this. This is kind of better see i put mine down here and i put it like this but i kind of like this maybe like right up here you know what no this is better okay so what you're gonna do once you do that click text right here click here and then you're just gonna say new and then you can do exclamation part um hold control down and you can just size it to your liking uh, i'm gonna put it right down here and let's see so the font i'm actually using right now is question up here if you can tell in this corner um i recommend using that I guess because I think that is what I used for the last one. So there's a lot of fonts you can do. Um, let's do that. Okay, wait. What are you doing? Come on. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's white. <laughs> and there you go. I wouldn't recommend adding any drop of photos, shadows, or effects. This looks perfectly fine. And that's about it. So that's for the icon. Um, th there's nothing really too crazy to that because that's just a simple please donate icon. I think you understand what I mean. Um, you can mess with it all you want, but your choice. I, I really like it's it, there's so many things you can do, but that's pretty nice. Now moving on to the thumbnail. So we're going to go here again. And actually, since I have it right here, was it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one. So I'm going to duplicate layer, put this onto thumbnail, and I'm just going to close these bad boys because we don't need them. Um, and sorry, guys. So as you can tell, mine's kind of weird. So we are going to position this like this. So this is actually perfect right here. Um, and then we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. So this is kind of hard because I'm not too good at this. I will be honest. Um, but I think last time I did this, it was pretty easy. So I'm going to create a rectangle, I remember. Um, oh, and you want to make sure this is... Let's have this fit perfectly like that. Because that's how it looked in the thumbnail. Get a rectangle. And you're going to want to position it kind of like right here here let's do right here and for fill um we're gonna be using a gradient um i think i did this last time and we're gonna go right here 
Let's see. No, no, no. This one. Perfect. All right. So right like this. Okay, you want to do a rectangle like this. And then instead of the white, we're going to want like a certain color. So we're going to want green, you know. So let's do a green like this. This is a perfect green. And you're going to want to position this gradient right here a little bit more. So that's, that's about perfect right there. Um, and then if you want, you might want to resize this a bit. And you can just make this as big as you want. So kind of like that. That That's about right. If you want, maybe even make it bigger. And that's kind of too big, right? Here. All right. That's perfect. So the reason for this is on the thumbnail, It that's kind of what it looks like. Now, this green's a little different. I guess maybe I'm wrong. Maybe make this a different green. Sorry, guys. Let's make this a blue. Um, I totally forgot it's blue in the video, in the photo. So blue. Then we're going to be adding the text. We want to do the text next because... Um, it's pretty simple to just do that first. So let's do that. So we're going to say, please. And then, oh my gosh, I hate when it does that. All right. So, um, kind of like this and that this fonts a different, we want it to be a simple font. Is this in capitals? I think I did that. On, no, I didn't. Okay. Let's see. I have a lot of fonts guys. I honestly don't remember what's the other one I use. Maybe plumpful. No, that's not the one I use. Um, small fonts. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I wish I saved it, but I didn't, of course. <laughs> so it, it, it's honestly to your liking. Um, I might need to pause the video and find a good font for this. So yeah, let me do that and get a good font for this. All right, I think that font can do. I mean, there, there's a lot of fonts, guys. I don't know. I did Burbank Big Consensed. But you just want to duplicate that, and then you want to put it down here, like kind of like right there, basically. And then in here, you're going to say Donate. Um, and then we'll move this. And you're gonna want the O to match up. So, but we want to make this smaller. So you can do like a bunch of stuff, guys. I just hold control to do that, by the way. Um, but we want to do it like right here. And then let's go like right there. That's perfect. Please donate. And then you'll say, uh, this is what they said on the last one, if I'm right. Um, the game. All right. Perfect. All right. Like that. Okay. So that's about it. So then we just have one more thing. You're going to create another layer. Now, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not really explaining too much on like the layers and everything like that. Um, this is how you create a layer down here. Pretty simple. Um, and then you want to create all these texts and everything. Just it's your to liking. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a money sign. Now, I don't remember. How, let's just see if I have another money sign. I don't remember. Um, I might need to go find one on the Internet again because I'm stupid. Yeah, let's do it again. So we're going to go here and we're going to search up dollar money sign transparent perfect and images and you're gonna find a certain one uh no no not that one we want one that is pretty good so um keep searching it's gonna be hard because some of them might not be transparent you're gonna have some struggles uh, i think i use this one yep this is the exact same one i used uh then you're gonna get that and say dollar sign da 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 good to close that out sorry guys got a lot of files perfect and it does not matter the color is just because of the color we're going to change that so we're going to go here and then we're going to go to um F fx right here and you're going to go to gradient overlay Bada -ba -beam. then you're going to grab this and you're going to do you can do something like this which is kind of cool where it's um already made for you um i actually haven't done this let me, let me see if you can just reverse it uh yeah, see, there's a bunch of things you can do. Um, where does the black end? Yes, that's weird. Okay, no. So <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> let's do a normal color. So we're going to do this one. And we're going to go to a green. So let's get like a green like this. And then instead of a pink, we're going to go back to this green. And we want it to be a little lighter. So kind of like that. That's a little better. But let's make this green darker because this isn't a very vibrant um perfect and then let's see solid yeah no we want solid what am i doing smoothness um let's go to 100 percent, and um that should be good and then you can actually just dim this down by doing that or bring it up now um for the actual nice part of this so hit okay you're gonna go to the please go to fx and add drop shadow um the drop shadow will help it stand out um let's do 100 percent opacity and then a distance that should be perfect right there and then you want to do the same thing for here. So drop shadow. I wish this saved 100% distance should be like right there. And then one more right down here. Drop shadow. 
beep and then the distance is right about right here okay now you can possibly you can possibly add this above the dollar sign kind of like that um but i don't recommend that i kind of just keep it like this and that's about it you guys that's that is literally what it should look like in the end. Now, if you guys want me to, I could probably just create a thing so you guys can just put your image in the background. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, but that's just it. And um, yeah, so we got the icon and then we have the thumbnail. Um, if you did like this tutorial, please comment, like, subscribe, and share it. This is something I haven't really done and I wanted to do just because it's kind of fun to just do a little bit of Photoshop. Um, for Pixlr, it's actually kind of the same thing. So if you go to Pixlr.com, guys... Uh, I'll open this for you guys. You'll just create new right here. Um, you'll basically do a 1920 by 1080, hit create, do the exact same thing. Um, and you can do this gradient right here, actually. So if you look at that, you can actually do the same thing by just doing here, going to the gradient, setting it to this side, and then changing the gradient to um, something that is like this. We'll go here. You just can delete. Oh, wait, you know what? You can, uh, I don't know how you can do that. I think you can just, oh, yeah, perfect. There we go. Now the black one. And we can go here. Oops. Let's go like this. Oops. Opacity zero. Perfect. And let's do this. Oop. There you go. Oh, that's not. <laughs> like this guy. Sorry. This is what's weird. All right. <laughs> well, you understand the point. Okay. So, yeah. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And um, it's just pretty simple. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, see you guys later. And new videos coming out soon. There's some cool ones you're going to like. See you later. Bye-bye.